The Final Fantasy VII Remake is notorious for not having the best PC port, and now with it just hitting Steam, it's easier than ever to play this on the Steam Deck. I wanted to try and get this game running at 40 FPS on the Steam Deck to get a good balance between image quality and battery life and performance. As you can see here in this footage, I have achieved that and locked the game to 40 FPS, but I had to go through some steps to get it there. I would have recorded the 40 FPS footage on my capture card, but unfortunately, locking the Steam Deck to 40 Hz does not work well with many capture cards. One major roadblock for this is that this game has some problems where you can only target certain frame rates, such as 30, 60, and 120 FPS. Once you have these FPS targets set, the game will adjust its internal resolution to use the dynamic resolution scaler to hit the target frame rate. The problem with this is we can't directly target 40 FPS, so if we target 60 FPS with the game and then use the Steam Deck to lock it to 40 FPS, it will still lower the game's resolution to a degree where it's trying to hit 60 FPS. Thankfully, some modders came up with a solution to turn off DRS a while ago when the game hit the Epic Game Store. So now we can use this to target 60 FPS, disable the dynamic resolution scaling, and then we can use the Steam Deck settings to lock the game to 40 FPS. Let's check out how to install the mod right now. So there are actually two different mods you can use to disable DRS and FF7 Remake. The first one is actually the preferred one and that's here, FF7 Hook. Unfortunately, this method doesn't work the best on the Steam Deck right now, and it's kind of broken from what I've seen in the posts, and I actually tried it myself and didn't have success. So I'd recommend checking in on this if you watch this in the future. For now, you'd have to tinker with this quite a bit to get it working, so I'd recommend just using the other method I'll show you here. But in the future, definitely check this out because using this one, you can actually set a minimum dynamic resolution, so you could set something like 90%, and that'll actually help you hit 40 FPS really consistently while setting the bottom resolution you want to hit. So let's jump over to method two. Okay, here we are on the page for the second mod, the one we'll be using, and it actually even recommends here to go ahead and use the other one, but like I mentioned, it doesn't work right now. I'll put all the links in the description, by the way. So for this one, it's super easy to install. Just download the folder that's in the uh, downloads page, and then literally drop the folder into the exact location it's telling you here for the Final Fantasy VII Remake installation. Now keep in mind, this is gonna depend on if you have an install to the internal SSD or the micro SSD. Today, I'm just gonna be covering the internal SSD location, but if you have a micro SD card, it's pretty straightforward to figure out where it is installed for that. So I went ahead and downloaded the archive, and now I'm just gonna extract the internal folder to my downloads folder. Once we have that folder extracted, we're just gonna copy it and move it over to the other location. Now this is for the internal SSD like I mentioned. I'll put in the description where you wanna go for the micro SD card and internal SSD, just to make it very straightforward for you guys. So just jump into the remake folder here, and content, and then go to the packs folder. I just double check here to make sure, but it's pretty straightforward. And then just copy the whole mods folder into that pack folder. Once you've done this, you're literally done, and you can go ahead and boot FF7 Remake, and DRS will just be completely disabled now. If you wanna remove this, just uninstall the mod the same way we installed it by just removing that folder, and you should be good to go with it having been re-enabled. Before we check out more specifics of the performance, I wanted to compare DRS off to on from an image quality standpoint, and these are both targeting 60 FPS. For me, it's very apparent that the DRS off one is much sharper than the DRS on, where it's softer there. To further illustrate this, let's pause this frame. Look at Cloud's shirt, his face, his belt buckle, everything. He's much sharper on the left side than he's on the right side. The Steam Deck does have a pretty small screen, but this added clarity does make a difference, and we're not leaving performance on the table by trying to hit 60, you know, getting this fuzzy image on the right side and then locking it to 40 FPS. I'll let this cutscene play out just a little bit longer, and then we can jump to performance. I'll also have one more pause to show a specific difference between Cloud again that you guys can just look at to see the differences. Then do the damn job! Okay, now we're on to performance. So here I'm just running the game unlocked with a 60 FPS cap. And this is just to demonstrate that we're above 40 FPS for a majority of the time here with a few dips right to 40 FPS and a few below. But overall, this is a pretty consistent experience on the Steam Deck at 40 FPS. Now I am running at low settings for both textures and shadows. Later on in a different environment, I did test high textures and low shadows and that did okay, but 
from the video I did before, analyzing the VRAM problems this game can run into that give you bad stuttering issues, and the fact that according to PC Gaming Wiki, this game has VRAM clearing issues, I think just sticking to Olo is a good idea here, and on the small screen, it looks pretty good overall. I'll let this gameplay go for a while so you guys can see the performance, but right here, we're above 40, so if you lock it down, you'll be pretty good. Also note, I have the battery life pulled up here. My battery is not very filled when this is going on, so I don't have the most battery left over. Now stick around if you want to watch this gameplay, otherwise you can skip ahead where I actually play through the beginning of Integrade, where you play as Yuffie through a actually more intensive environment that'll really hit the frame rate a bit harder. All right, here we are at the beginning of Integrade, and you can already notice our frame rate is a bit lower than it was before consistently. Now, one thing we want to look at right away here is our VRAM and RAM usage. Since the Steam Deck has a shared pool, we're already nearly touching the 16 gigabyte VRAM limit that we saw when I did the original FF7 video on the Steam Deck, where we were getting really bad stutters if we got anywhere near that and touched it. So. Later on in this video, I'll go ahead and turn that texture setting back down to low. But here the frame time graph is relatively stable. I did see some stutters and that's why I went back down to the low texture quality where we're definitely fine RAM wise. Now here we are hovering right at 40 FPS. And this is where the other mod that I mentioned early in the beginning of the video might come in handy. Because if you use that one and set it up in a method where you allow the game to drop to 90% resolution, I think the game will still look really good and you won't really have these problems where you're dropping below 40 here and there. But in general, just using this one the way it's set up now, I think the experience is pretty enjoyable. Right there, we did see some 33 second ones, but look at our RAM usage. We're at 16 gigabytes. We're actually slightly over 16 gigabytes. So that makes sense why those performance problems are happening. So here, we're gonna go ahead and drop the texture resolution to low and look at our VRAM usage. It dropped pretty significantly. And now we're hovering more in the 12 to 13 range and the performance graph is gonna be more consistent. That being said, frame rate wise, we're still hovering around 40 FPS, but we're not gonna see as many of those really bad stutters. As far as I understand, this is one of the most graphical intensive areas in the entire game. And the lowest we get in the frame time that I've seen is the mid thirties, like right there we hit 35, but I don't really see anything below that. And that's why I really think that if the other method gets figured out, I'll probably do a follow up video on it as soon as it does that we can just lock 40 FPS with a slight drop in resolution, uh, the dynamic resolution, but still really maintaining that quality without totally sacrificing our image sharpness. Now I'll let the gameplay just run out here so you guys can see more performance and just how the game looks and runs at 40 FPS. But if you wanna see more guides just like this one, give this video a thumbs up and check out my channel. I have a really elaborate Skyrim guide coming up for modding all on the Steam Deck. And then I already have one for modding on your PC and then moving that over to your Steam Deck. So check the channel out for a bunch more videos and have a good one. No palm. <sighs> you okay? Anybody home? <sighs> 